Good morning, y'all. Good morning, everyone. We have finally made it to a national forest. We're in the Hiawatha National Forest in the UP, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. And it's been pretty nice being here on this creek. Actually, it's not a creek. It's a, it's a river called Indian River. And there's camping spots like this with a fire ring all up and down. It was pretty nice waking up right there next to this. It's uptown high rent for sure. I'll tell you what. It almost feels weird to disperse camp again because we've been uh, staying at campgrounds so much lately, which really wasn't that hard to find. There's so much public land in the UP. You can drive for days and find tons and tons of camping. But we do have to be transparent. Some of you have warned us about the bugs. They're kind of bad. Yeah, they're bad. They're yeah. bad. Kind of wondering how we're going to use the bathroom here in a little bit. Gotta I mean, figure it's, that out. it's pretty uh, intense. Yeah. We used to think that in the south, we might have had some some mosquito issues. The mosquitoes are extremely bad. So we've got this fire just smoldering smoke. That kind of helps. And then we've got that thermosel right there. I think the only thing that really does help is the smoke from a campfire. I do too. Because whenever we woke up this morning, the inside between our rain fly and the tent, there was so many mosquitoes. Let me see. They're still up under here. No, I don't, they were probably just there because they could smell us breathing. Or however they find their prey. No. Nah. But when the sun comes out, what goes along with them are the biting uh, deer flies is what they're called. They look like little black paper airplanes. They're <laughs> perfectly triangled. And horse flies. And I'm not talking about like one or two. I'm talking about tons. Tons. So we got this little handy dandy fly swatter and you want to talk about a fun day just go around and get yourself some of this you know what i mean but these crepes if you've never had one they're uh, they're pretty fancy they're really good so this is what they look like finished this one's a little big this is all the dough I had, or all the batter i had left but yeah i just fold them over sometimes i'll fold them in a triangle it just depends on how that how it lays out that's it they're ready to eat now So the bugs have gotten the best of us. I mean, we cannot do anything. I think I've whipped my head so many times trying to get them away from my head that I might have whiplash. Hey, there's, hey, Kelly, it's come, rough. Show, show them how many we got in here. I mean, here, you do it. Yeah, this is how many horse flies. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, it's six, a... seven, eight. One just landed, oh, that was a deer fly on the camera right now. I mean, it, they're ballsy. I mean, this is insane. I, I can't, there's just no way. We can't do anything. I have never in my life seen so many horse flies in one spot. Goodness gracious. And that's just what's in the tent. So I, we're dealing with this out there. So uh, we've noticed at the uh, public campgrounds that it's not this bad. I don't know if it's because we're by this creek 
or this river, but we need moving water. We need water, fresh water to shower if we're gonna be anywhere longer than two days. And it's hot. It's hot today. Um, it's just not, it's not good. It's not looking good. This is the bad times. That hell storm last time was nothing. This is the bad times here. So we're gonna pack up camp and we're gonna find somewhere to stay that's not camping wise because it is 4th of July weekend and most campgrounds are taken. Most Airbnbs are taken. So I think we're gonna have to go for like a motor side motel, like roadside motor inn or something like that because that seems to be the only thing available from what research I've done. So we've gotta get packed up. You can't stop moving. You gotta keep moving. There's no sitting still. So we're gonna get packed up. One, down. Are you sleeping in here? Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna kill him and let him fall. All right, all clear. We're hooked up, we're ready to go. So let's get on the road and see what we can find on this 4th of July weekend. By the way, happy 4th of July, everyone. On the vehicle still. Y'all coming along with us? No, you're not. Nah, they're not. I did find a, a place, I'll let you know where it is, but we need to rinse all this mud off of our vehicle that we got yesterday when we went to go find the camp spot. So it's pretty bad. It's like white and chalky. So we're gonna get that rinsed off and then I'm gonna let you know where we're staying. So we are staying at a little place. It's a roadside motel and it is called Moose Resort, I believe. And it's super cute on the inside. I looked at the pictures on Google Maps and I called and they have enough room for us to park. It has a kitchenette. It doesn't have uh, a full kitchen, but they were okay with me cooking. So I'll be able to cook dinner. I told them how to full refrigerator. I told them the situation and I said that I would be able to cook dinner outside. So that's cool. While Cody gets all this hosed off and then we can make our way there, we're only probably 10 minutes away. But it'll be so nice to have a clean truck. and it is called Moose Resort. It's right across from the lake. Now that's not like Michigan. I'm not really sure what it is, but this is super cute. Very cute. Now we just spoke to the owners. It's the husband and wife who just bought this. How long have they said I've been here? Uh, they bought it just a few months, like, two months ago and just redid this whole place. So this whole thing is redone and it is very, very cute. 
So before we get all our junk in here and trash it out, we wanted to show you what it looked like. This is the king bed suite. I forgot the name of it, but it does come with a little couch. We've got a kitchenette and a TV. Um, they were very nice enough to let us park our trailer over there and they're gonna let us cook over there, do our thing. We kind of told them our situation. They completely understand. I think before uh, we cook dinner though, I'm gonna try to get a workout in. I need to weight train. You guys don't have to see that. So we'll catch you at dinner. Well, we ended up at this park again. And I say again, because we came to this park a couple days ago just to do yoga and swing on this uh slide on this really big slide but we didn't want to cook in the parking lot because it was really hot it was in direct sunlight and so we came to this nice little park so we can cook in the shade i'm gonna be making hamburgers i'm just gonna do some patties saute some onion and some cheese so i had to get the hamburger patties done if you can tell the little ones are kelly's mm -hmm. and the big thick one those belong to me Toasted some buns. Yep. And you know, recently Kelly and I were talking about how much time we've been spending in like city parks. We used to never go to city parks because we no. always went out, out into the wilderness, but now we're starting to get to the point where we, on our travels, we'll stop, do yoga, or make, maybe make a small lunch. And we're really digging coming back to parks. It brings back childhood. Like that little slide way up over there, which I need to show y'all here in a little bit because they don't make them like that anymore. That was the type of slide I had whenever I was a kid. Well, my elementary school had a slide like that and every recess, I would go straight to that slide. So much fun. Might not be the most beautiful burger in the world, <laughs> but it's gonna be good. I know you are right there with me. I'm that slide. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Haven't slid on a slide since I was like little. I don't even know how little. Look how big that thing is. I mean, they just don't make slides like this anymore. That thing, I mean, it's on up there. Good, nice metal. Let's do this thing. pretty far up here. I'm actually a little nervous. I can see why this was such a big deal when I was a little kid. Okay. <sighs> Kelly, this is kind of slick. I can feel it. Here we go. <laughs> that was fun. I want to do that again. I think the metal makes you go a little bit faster than those plastic slides nowadays. That was fun, but when it comes to bugs, many of you have asked in the past, what do we do about bugs? Normally, we do fires. We have fires and the fires will keep mosquitoes away and like a vanilla incense will help keep like buffalo gnats away or black flies. But today, today was something that has never happened to us in our lives. It was completely new. We've been doing this since 2016, have never experienced anything quite like that. And many of you have warned us about how bad the bugs were up here. And we didn't really believe y'all 110% because we were like, ah, we've dealt with some bad bug situations. Nothing like that, no, and we're not prepared. And I've done a little research on hum bugs recently. I know there's two things contributing to that. One, all the lakes. There are so many setting bodies of water up here that mosquitoes and horse flies all that just just harvested they just grow like crops that's just crazy the other thing i found out is that winters that are worse make bug populations that much worse i didn't understand that in the past i used to think a really harsh winter kills off bugs well down the south we have mild winters and the bugs start coming out sooner. So February, March, and they slowly start coming out and then they slowly start dying off sooner. Where here, they come out in such a short window that their populations that are active are a thousand times worse. And that's because they have such a short window. They're not coming out earlier in the season, dying off sooner. So that's the other reason that this happens. So the worse the winter is, 
the worse the mosquitoes are going to be, the worse the horse flies are going to be, the noceums, the buffalo nets, all the bugs that bite you, they're going to be worse whenever there's a worse winter. When there's a more mild winter, they come out sooner and they die off sooner. With the bug situation said, we're not going to let that ruin our trip. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue going forward. We just needed a little bit of a break. We haven't yeah. been inside of a place in forever, so yeah, we're kind of... We'll call this a, a vacation. Yeah, this is our <laughs> mini vacation from tent camping. <laughs> but we do already have reservations at another campground for something else fun we want to go see. But we will catch you on the other. See ya.